Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Glory Cordero. Today I'm going to show you step by step how to do rellenos de papa or potato balls. I guarantee you guys that you're going to love my rellenos. You're going to be hooked with my rellenos. And I learned it from the best, my mother-in-law, Jenny. Stay tuned for the recipe and the ingredients. Okay guys, these are the ingredients, ground beef, corn oil, maicena, or cornstarch, a stick of margarine, maybe we're not even going to use the whole thing, maybe we're only going to use half, an egg, and the start is my potatoes. We're only going to be using like five or six potatoes, I'm going to wash them, peel them, cut them, and I'll see you for the next step. Now that my potatoes are washed, now we're going to proceed to cut them in pieces. See you in a moment for the next step. Okay guys, my potatoes are already washed and peeled. And now we're going to proceed to cut them. I'm going to show you how. This is how we're looking for it. We want to cut them like this. Make sure every single one is cut like the same so they can cook evenly. So you know more for the next step. Now we're going to boil our potatoes. Do not put salt into the water yet. A trick, guys. This is a trick. Do not put the salt into the water is is boiling. Because that prevents... If you put the, the salt right now, it's just going to stay like in the bottom of the pot. We don't want that. We want the potato to have a taste. So see you. In the next step, while this boil, we're going to proceed to do the beef. Okay, guys, now we're going to proceed to do the beef. Then we're going to put a little bit of oil just to brown our onions. Once the onions are like two minutes already here, don't let them get burned in medium high. Medium high, we're gonna just put the meat. We just wanna put adobo. We're going to put garlic, we're going to put black pepper, we're going to put oregano, we're going to put cumin, And we're going to stir it. Let me tell you something, guys. Everybody do the beef different ways. This is the way I do it. If you want to follow my step, go ahead. If you want to do your own version of your beef, go ahead. Everything is fine. I'm just trying to show you. So you can have an idea how to brown the beef. Alright guys, now that the beef is browned, we're going to proceed to put the olive, the olive. We're going to put some sofrito. I 
guys later on in my, I'm gonna be making another video teaching you how to do my sofrito salsa goya tomato sauce we're not gonna put the whole can just half of it You're gonna put one beef cubito. It's like a beef cube in powder. One sazon. We're gonna incorporate everything. This is my way to do the beef. Like I said earlier. You can always do the beat the way you wanted to do it. This is the way I do it. If you want to follow my step, go ahead. If you don't, just do your own. And now, after now, this done, I'm just going to drain the fat. See you in a moment. Now we're going to drain the fat. Just like that. And now I'm going to transfer the meat to the pot. Now that the beef is brown, we're going to set it aside and we're going to proceed to the next step. Alright guys, now, now the potatoes are boiling, so we're going to add a little bit of salt. We're going to let it boil for 10 minutes guys. No more than 10 minutes, we're not doing much potatoes. We're trying to look for dough consistency. So please, don't boil it more than 10 minutes because we don't want much potatoes. See you for the next step. After 10 minutes, my potatoes are done. Now I'm gonna proceed to drain them. We're gonna proceed to drain the potato. Guys, you better be careful, don't get burnt. And now we're gonna put them in a the bowl. We're going to wait until the potatoes cool down a little bit for the next step. We're going to let um, the potatoes cool for at least 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I'll see you with the next step. Now that my potatoes are cooling down, after 10 minutes, we're going to proceed to put the margarine. Only half. We're not going to put the whole thing. And we're going to proceed to mash them. for mashed potatoes. We're looking for a dough consistency. Beautiful. Oh, this is beautiful. You gotta make sure there's no lumps. You gotta make sure everything is mashed. See, to put the egg. We don't want to fry our egg in our potato. That's why we waited 10 minutes for the potato to cool down. We just want to incorporate the egg. Now we're going to put a little bit of cornstarch in our mixture. Don't put a lot guys, just a little bit. And... Alright guys, now that we just put the cornstarch, we're going to stir it. This is what we're looking for guys, a dough consistency. We're not looking for mashed potatoes, we're looking for dough consistency. So we're going to let our potato rest. While our potato rest, we're going to heat our oil. 
now we gonna put a lot of oil guys we need a lot like half to cover half of the rellenos and we gonna let our oil heat in medium high for like 10 minutes see you in a moment for the next step right now is the fun part wash your hands really good and make sure your hands are really dry make sure your hands are really dry for this next step okay follow this step little bit of cornstarch in your arm in your hands sorry about that i meant to say hands little bit of the dough the potato dough see this is how we're looking for this consistency not much potatoes you're gonna put a little bit of meat and the fun part we're gonna close it make sure it's really close guys we don't want the meat to come out when we're frying them look how beautiful it is beautiful look and so on and so on keep doing it until they look like this now we're going on to the next step which is frying them okay we just proceed to put them in the pot to fry them we're going to leave them like five to six minutes for each side um so you in a moment so i can show you how to flick them the five minutes we're going to flick them be careful don't squish them because they will open we cannot squish them and we're gonna leave it in this side four to five minutes into the golden brown when they're golden brown they're ready to plate see you in a moment all right guys after five minutes you see how beautiful they look they golden brown now we're gonna take them out Beautiful guys, beautiful, and so on into all of them are done. See you in a moment. I'm gonna do the step again just in case you miss the step. This is the fun part. Make sure your hands are really dry, 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 dry. Put a little bit of cornstarch in your hands. Grab a little bit of the potato dough. A little bit of meat in the middle and this is the fun part how to build the potato bowl make sure everything is closed no meat outside make sure it is really round and there's no meat outside and this is how it look like guys one more time see you next time all right guys this is the final result Beautiful, beautiful my potato balls, mis rellenos de papa, that's how they look inside, this is how they look, beautiful, if you like my videos, please don't forget to like, comment, and please, si quieres ver mis videos en español, no se olviden de comentarme abajo, y con mucho gusto, le daré un placer, de hacer cualquier video que ustedes me pidan. Thank you. See you next time. Enjoy.